Hey everyone, welcome to the first Devoted Cowgirl vlog. I know I've gone live for the episodes before, but I decided I wanted to start taking you guys along for the ride with me when I barrel race and just life. So if you like it, let me know in the comments or make sure that you give the video a thumbs up. Um, this video, as our pilot episode, uh, I am going to take you along with me to the 2021 brand BRN4D Championships up in Rochester, Washington. Uh, it was three days and uh, it actually turned out pretty good. So without further ado, let's go. Take care of some ponies. You wanna go though? Shall we? Woohoo! Let's go! My horses were amazing. Stella did fantastic. I, on the other hand, uh, mm, you can tell that I hadn't ran in a month because both of my horses about left me behind on the first barrel and therefore I didn't do them justice. Stella tipped a barrel so we were out of the three day average from the get go. Uh, Blitzen and I made it around all three clean, barely. Uh, she has always had a habit of lagging on the backside on her first barrel and I always expect that and since I started doing something she doesn't do it anymore so uh, the last couple runs I've had to play catch up leaving that first barrel and it's kind of put us in a little bit of a lurch but I'm proud of how well they worked not proud of how I rode on Friday so my goal on Saturday was to be a little less handy on that first barrel and just get a little bit better than I did Friday. So let's see how Saturday went.
cool thing about Saturday's open run on Stella, I ran in the drag with Stella's dad, THR Buggin' the Bully, and Stella's aunt, who is a full sister to her dad. And it was so cool because all three of us were right on top of each other time-wise. Um, I'll throw her dad's run in here so you can watch. BIF, Brandon Cinder Fund, I decided not to roll my times because Stella and I haven't really kept our barrels up consistently, so I decided to run again. It wasn't quite as good as our first run of the day. She felt a little bit strung out, so I knew that on Sunday I would have to go make a few changes. Blitzen, on the other hand, check out... got the second barrel on Blitzen on Saturday because we improved, I improved so much on that first barrel and I still have a long ways to go, but we made it around the first barrel and I didn't do what I did Friday. So that was my goal was to do just a little bit better. I did. We barely tipped that second barrel to uh, knock us out of the average, both the side pot average, which was just Saturday and Sunday and the three day average. So I was real sad about that, but it was a great run. She worked fantastic. Uh, <laughs> my mom said, why didn't you reach down and set that barrel up? Cause you had it going in. And um, I don't know if you guys have noticed the way Blitzen is turning lately, but uh, I'm sure you can imagine the look that I gave her. So Saturday was okay. We did what I wanted to accomplish, which was to get a little bit better than we were on Friday. Well, we actually got a lot of it, a lot of it better. Um, and then Sunday, we got a little bit better on Stella. Uh, Sunday, I ran the BIF first. So here's that.
on Sunday. I wanted to be significantly faster than I was on Saturday and really have a clean run. She felt a little strung out, um, just like she did in the BIF on Saturday. And I realized that I didn't quite do the thing that I wanted to change, which was to kind of check her up a little bit and prepare her for those corners instead of just letting her go in there balls to the walls wide open and with no preparation. So our open run, which was a few hours later because we were way late in the draw on Sunday, looked like this. to sneak into those 14s uh, that weekend, but a 15.004 is right there. We were sixth place in the 2D, which put us 32nd overall out of over 400 horses. And I'm not even mad about that because we still have room to improve. improve. I have room to ride her better so that she can do what she needs to do instead of me getting in her way. Um, Blitzen, well, we'll just let her run speak for itself. Here's her Sunday's run. Sunday run. I was hoping for another repeat of Saturday, just keeping that second barrel up, but it is what it is, you know? This was her fifth or sixth run back since March when she had her injury, and I can't complain because she was consistent. She was working really great all weekend, and a lot of her bobbles are my fault, so I'm super excited to see what happens next. Um, I just want to thank you guys for watching this if you've made it this far and I look forward to sharing next weekend's adventures with you on Devoted Cowgirl, the vlog version. Remember, as I say in the podcast, to strive for progress, not perfection. I love you guys and I'll see you next week. Bye.